through this arena. This is going to be some battle, one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. Charlotte Flair in the ring tonight, so expect some styling and profiling. What do you know about style, Saxton? Does your mom still dress you? Don't talk about my Jeez. mother. What a strike. Boom! Oh, what an elbow! Oh, oh man! Wow! Elbow! Oh. oh, that hurt. Knee to the spine. right now, Cole. Oh, my goodness. This hurts. Oh! Charlotte is in a bad way here. I'm not sure if the Queen can rebound, but she knew this match wasn't going to be easy. If you're worried about her now, you haven't seen many of her matches. Oh, man. She can withstand so much more punishment than this. I definitely didn't anticipate her struggling so much, but hey, crazier things have happened here in the WWE. James Ellsworth 2016 is a perfect example of that. Some good technique right there. Devastating elbow. At the elbow. Oh my goodness, crushing it. Caught. Looks like she's tapped into some unseen energy source. Wow. As Byron mentioned, Lesnar's attack on Cena in 2012 was without question gruesome. And furthermore, I don't think I've ever seen John Cena manhandled like he was on that night. Yeah, Lesnar definitely brought it to Cena that night. But what's truly amazing is that John... Oh, look at this. That's Stratosphere! She is just so dominant. Charlotte's just getting overwhelmed. That's not something you see often for the Queen. Trish setting it up. The main roster was introduced to Charlotte Flair as one of the members of Team PCB with Paige and Becky Lynch. On that very night, the women's revolution kicked off as two other NXT stars joined the main roster and turned the WWE women's division upside down. And face first, Flapjack! I can go back to Team PCB for a second. They had two rival factions with plenty of talent, Team Bad and Team Bella, but PCB won most of those battles. All three teams dissolved before long, and Paige founded a new faction since then. Charlotte and Becky may be the most talented women's trio ever. Charlotte has been the centerpiece of so many WWE milestones, but her match at Hell in a Cell 2016 was her biggest triumph ever. Now Charlotte Flair and Sasha Banks had so many epic encounters already, but their Raw Women's Championship match that night warranted a main event Hell in a Cell match. Here it comes. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Byron, that Hell in a Cell match was the first time women main evented the WWE pay-per-view. And both ladies brought their very best to the Trish. Queen Buster! Oh, that should do it. She's out of it, guys. Yeah, she's leaving herself wide open here. Stratisfaction! Boom! That's it. That's what she needed. A trip to the local medical facility might be in order after that. I gotta say, watching this match, I'm definitely seeing similarities to the May 2016 Extreme Rules match where Roman Reigns defended his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against AJ Styles. This might be it! Oh, my! 
When it comes to brutality, I would agree with Michael Cole's assessment that this match shares similarities with the 2016 Reign Styles match. Though for me, the biggest story of that night came after the match. Not agree with that for sure. Absolutely nobody thought they'd see Seth Rollins on that night, especially Roman Reigns. Oh, look at this aggression in the corner. Be careful not to get disqualified. We're looking at complete domination here. I'll tell you, watching Extreme Rules matches make me happy. My in-ring days are behind me. You talk about a treacherous environment to compete in. Oh, look at this. Hands with the stratosphere. He's back in full control now. Harsh impact. Nice job getting out of the way of that one. This is a treacherous match indeed, as Corey was saying. I can't even tell you how many times we've seen Extreme Rules matches result in broken bones, stitches, and even trips to a medical facility. Yeah, but despite all those inherent dangers, these superstars still willingly sign up for Extreme Rules matches. That's what amazes me the most. She counters before it's too late. We'll see how long she can keep it up. Charlotte with a nice reversal. Real quick reminder, guys, there are no disqualifications and no countouts in this one. And she goes for the cover. One, and Trish gets out after a count of one. She's still in this one. Look at her go. And she turns it around on her. She reverses out of it, and not a second too soon. Close call there. As Corey mentioned, there's a treasure trove of weapons under the ring. Everything from kendo sticks to steel chairs to fire extinguishers. If you can think about it, it's probably under there. And when that's the case, it's not a matter of if you're going to get hurt. It's a matter of how badly you're going to get hurt. Oh, man, she's rolling now. She's turning the tables. Ain't turned yet. Still got some work to do. Charlotte is rolling here. Look at the look in her eyes. She Queen Buster! Oh! Charlotte is in trouble. Without a doubt, this is a volatile situation, guys. WWE superstars are dangerous without weapons. Then you put them in an environment like this, and who knows what you're liable to see. She is on fire. What a battle this has been. Uh-oh. This battle is about to come to an stratisfaction. Boom. Charlotte is in trouble. the pinfall and the victory that had to be one of the matches of the year let's take another look at some of the action I just love it when the women put on a show like that one you can see right here the moments that made this match a great one check this out she was amazing all match long flawless technique relentless attacks and she he brought it all winner. night long Trish. An amazing contest comes to a close following a decisive pinfall victory. That may have been one of the most dominant performances I've seen in a very long time. It'll be interesting to see the fallout following this big singles win here tonight.